welcome back to World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade Classic Blind. We are exploring Netherstorm. Two islands down, three big ones, and two small ones to go, I suppose. If we look over here, we have a mana forge. Over here, a mana forge. Let's go see what this one's called. Previously, there was Banar and Koru. So we have some more Sun Fury guys here. At Mana Forge. Wait for it. The Vortex Fields. Mana Forge. Duro. There we go. Cosmo Wrench is over that way. Well, let's go see about that then, shall we? Flying right past the Mana Forge. Walking on the Mana Forge. I'm sure it's totally safe. All that? That's like a, that's like a spaceship right there. The vortex fields. Any vortexes? Oh, it looks like the nether beasts are attacking the mana stuff. So we got more Sun Fury bow guys trying to deal with that. The Tempest Rift. Well, there's a lot of stuff going over here. What have we got here? We got a flight path. That's what we have here. Yes, please. Cosmo wrench. New flight path Yo. discovered. Way over here in the corner. <laughs> Glad I could help. Shredder there. What do we have here? Lots of stuff. I'm not gonna go inside first. Here, let's see what else we got. Here's some people at the meeting stone for another storm. That this dead in here? Tempest Keep Possible? This is another storm. We will see. We got some Cosmo Wrench guys. This is a very small little town in here. My goodness. More like a single building with some walls. What do we have here? Sab off. Oh. It is I'm gonna do for poison supplies. I used to amuse myself by accepting challenges from anyone who would offer them. I've long since grown tired of such easy victories. For now, I'm taking some time to get my agent business off the ground. And write a book about my experiences in Twilight's Hammer. I will challenge you, I'd like to see your wares. <laughs> He has things. Very good. See you around. All sorts of plants and stuff. And a weapon merchant. Time is money, friend. He sells one gun. But has no extra stats on it, so it's not useful for us. Right back. Anybody in the building? So we got, this is a meeting area for level 69 to 70, but presumably the dungeon is more over there. So how would you get there if you're not level 70 and can fly? That's my question. I don't know if you could even jump onto this pipe. Even if you did, that wouldn't really get you over here, a Tempest Rift. Oh, wow, look at this. So there's three ships. Let's see if we can get inside here. One of these surrounding ships. This is pretty impressive. Big ol' something. Just 
discovered Tempest Keep. Now this is probably going to be a dungeon of some description. So we should be careful. Ah. This ship is a dungeon itself, it looks like. Alright, what's this? This is the Mechanar. We got mechs. Starting with level 71 elites, my goodness. They're not messing around in the Mechanar. Hello, nine enemies. How are you doing? Goodbye. So we can go to the Mechanar. That's confirmed. Well, I guess we go check out the other smaller ships first. In case they are in themselves other dungeons. Is there a third one? Third one actually here. I've seen two. I mean, that one wasn't where one of the ships was anyways, so. Oh, there it is. It's just down lower. This one up here is red. That's concerning. That's the Mechanar. The dungeon would have to be larger than just this ship, though, right? Presumably. Could have portals to other places. That's entirely possible. Looks like this one might be locked. The Architraz. Requires key to the Architraz. All right. Can't go in there. We're getting information about each of these locations, though. The third fragment quest that we want to do is in Tempest Keep. Okay. So that was neither of those so far. But presumably, there's somebody running in here. Presumably, the large ship is also something. We'll also check that out. They're flying up to here. And we're coming from above, because of course we are. We take non-standard paths. Right, what is this? This is Botanica. Okay. Let's get a glimpse of the first enemy in here. 70 Elite. Blood Warder Protector. Interesting. We got a lot of dungeons out here. Lots of stuff. We will see what we all do before the next expansion happens. We have more than enough content to get us to that point. So we will see. And then we have the big ship. It looks like all the mana forges are pumping the mana over here. Or, well, at least the at least the closest one is. We can't exactly see where all the pipes go. Let's take this keep. There's somebody. And this is. Aha. This is more of a raid situation. Because you need to have a group for that. In a raid group to enter Tempest Keep. Okay. Let me see here. We have the Caverns of Time raid quest. That requires Kalthasun Strider at Tempest Keep. Yeah, this this looks like a a higher level raid quest. As it requires the Coal Thing Reservoir raid and Tempest Keep raid here. And that gets us to another raid, apparently. Yeah, the The Karazan raid quests are much more doable. Since we already did the first two 
and all we have left is Tempest Deep. So that is... I do know what it's called? No, this is Tempest. Not Tempest. This Tempest. What are we doing? Left inside Tempest Keep. This is Tempest Keep. To enter Tempest Keep. Okay. Um... Maybe not a raid? What are we doing here? Left inside Tempest Keep. Is that right? I can't get inside Temp inside Tempest Keep. That's what it's saying. Hmm. Curious. Because the, the other one, the other f were just from dungeons. And that wasn't a huge deal. It would be difficult to get that then. It's just in a container though. Presumably we'll be able to just get in and get out. Maybe. We'll prove the most trying, indeed. Inside Tempest Keep, when it's controlled by the Naru. Chaos has no rules, it generally left has become a prison. Hmm. Sounds difficult. Especially getting a group together to walk into there and then leave. I think there's a lot of restrictions on raids. Noted, though. At least we know where we need to be. Warp chase, you guys. It's on the other end of this island. Yep, that's all Tempest Keep. Brings up some questions. If this is to go to Karazhan, which is apparently the first raid, how are we going to a different raid before that? I do not know. I'm just rocking over here to the vortex fields. See what's going on. There he is. Presumably one of the biodomes. Which we have a quest to find some mana berries in there. Let's see if we can do that. If it's not too much of a hassle. Got some more demons. Demons are happening. One of their teleporters here. Warp gates. Invasion point destroyer. They're not invading too much so far, doesn't seem. That's good, I guess. Let's see if any of these fell reavers are active. Got a quest over here from Dridget. They're like helping me take down the warp gate in that burning legion camp to the south. That does the warp gate. Right there. Perhaps. Right, yeah. Many more demons up in this area. This is the scrap field. And this is an animatic test. Which I'm absolutely going to be taking. Alright. We'll find these guys now. He's using his doom sock. That's good. That's great for me. Here I have reached into his backpack. Didn't need to fight two of these guys at the same time. That is suboptimal. Take down this engineer. Let us not be so low health here. In the scrap field. I get this over here. Lots of 
lots of broken fell reavers out here in Netherstorm. A dangerous place, to be sure. Got this orb before anybody else walks on past. Very good. Okay. So this is Ecodome Mid Realm. Because it's in the middle of another storm? Sure. Right, how does this work? Do we just walk in? What's it like inside here? Maybe we stay off the ground. Okay, we're in Ecodome Mid Realm. And we're just. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Apparently. There's the manaberry bushes. Whee! Perfect. Anything even hostile in here? Not so far. Let's see what these guys are up to. This is mid realm post. We got Garouge. As a representative of the consortium, I'm always mindful of the ramifications that my interactions have upon our business dealings. It's unfortunate that the Blood Elves do not treat their partnerships with such respect. General Provisioner, there is something that you wish to buy, there is something you wish to sell. This is why we are here, my friend. Please tell me your pleasure. I wish to browse your wares. I got. General supplies. Nothing too crazy. Got a boom mech tech yeah. mana wheeler here. Can you believe this ethereal technology? I'm sure glad they let me stay out here with them. I'm gonna learn a lot. Maybe I'll get some of it for myself too. We got Murdad. Welcome to Ecodome Mid Realm, Traveler. I would warn you to be wary of dealing with that goblin, Shali. I don't believe I've ever heard anyone use the word buddy as pronounced as punctuation before. Hmm. Ah, here he is. Shali Poy. You, you got a quest? <laughs> Glad I could help. Plenty of quests. Oh, there is enemies in here. A Rip Fang Lynx. Yay. <laughs> Just what I wanted. Okay. Find some more mana berry bushes. Get that taken care of. There's some little red berries. Should be able to easily grab 15 of these here. Looks like looks like it's condensing the mana from here. That's a big moth. We got protective barrier around this tree here. Amazing. There's definitely wildlife in here to worry about. Barb scale crocolisks. Rip fang lynxes. You're standing right next to a mana berry bush, though. Well, that is your fault. Careful not to AoE the moth on me. Wouldn't help. Even got some water in here. Which could be a place to fish. Although it's also surrounded by crocolisks, so. Suboptimal. By all measures. A 
Although, with how many of them there are here, you might be hard pressed to not have cryptolisks. Let's try at least one fishing attempt here. We can fish here. See if we can actually catch anything without putting on the boosting items. Hey, got another ice fin bluefish. Not bad. There's a crack list right there. Yeah, this is a more dangerous place to fish. I can see it having better rewards. In theory, at least. And we didn't fish that time. Apparently holding our fishing pole, that's not gonna help. Yeah, having to constantly fight crocolisks while fishing would not be great. It really would defeat the idea of just sitting and having a relaxing fishing session. one in the water there. Yeah, we're not going to get too much done here with the crocolisks all up in here. That looks to be the only watering hole here. Yeah. We got fewer crocolisks on this side, maybe? I can dream. Gathering these berry bushes. Very good. Links. The erratic movement patterns of this lynx is not helping me. This lynx attacking me is not helping me. It was it was inevitable. It was inevitable. Okay. Another berry. Run right at me. My goodness. My goodness. I'll rip your face. Just like that. Rip the thing right out. Lots of mana berries out here. Not a difficult quest. Once you have actually been to an eco dome and know where that is. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. There's one more right over there. Perfect. So we can go turn that in in Shatrath. Nice. So that is the Eco Dome here. Looks like there's a bridge to this island. I want to go to this other island over here first. So let's pop out of the eco dome. Oh. Very impressive. Very magical.
Presumably, this is for harvesting mana, though. As far as I can tell. Making our way to the next island. Yeah, let's check this key. But first, there's an ore over here. This guy's going to attack. Of course he is. Ever try to mine an ore? Somebody comes over to bother me. Typical. Typical. He's throwing dynamite at me. Not a huge fan of that. Magaring another guy. Not a huge fan of that. Dodge that. I tried. That more like Doomsmith is coming coming closer. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think that was the end of the ore there too. Could have left there. Angered this guy. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yep. Exploring around. Finding ores and such. Everybody's always fighting the mana sappers. Snappers. It's a whole situation. So for this island, there's a bridge over here nearer to Tempest Keep. I gotta go all the way over there to cross since we can fly. But so far that is showing us there is ways between the islands here. Except for Tempest Keep as far as I can tell, but... I don't think you'd want to go to any of those dungeons if you weren't already level 70 anyways. This is the Void Wind Plateau. We've got Basilisks and Ethereals. And this is the whole thing over here with Ethereal. Got some prisons here. This is the Ethereum Staging Grounds. All kinds of these guys in here. Nexus Stalkers. Another thing over there. It looks like there is something in the pipes here. I don't think that's supposed to be in there. Well, it looks like this. Mana Forge is broken because of all the void guys. Mana Forge Ultras. Yeah. All of their buildings and stuff are smoking and covered in sludge and demons. So, that's not great for them. There's a quest down here, though. And it works, apparently. Below ground, though. This is Axa Access Shaft Xeon. Okay, spec. Too many flesh beasts in the way. Send someone in, follow the tracers. Yeah, six out. Agent Yeah, six and I were given a high priority mission from Protectorate Command to eradicate all signs of void creature infestation at Ultras. These are be tactical strikes. A last hit before I return to the Protectorate watch post is we a void lord named Arconis been getting fat off the fleshlings of the area. Unfortunately, we arrived a bit late. The Asics and I got separated in a firefight with the Flesh Beasts. They strapped inside, pinned down behind enemy lines. Okay. Where's this access shaft? 
There's the access shaft. It's full of flesh beasts. There's gonna be ores in there. But also flesh beasts, so. Maybe not. But that's gonna be a way to get inside of the mana forge here. In a different way. So that's something. There's a quest. Inside here? Not exactly. It's no longer on the map. Let's go back outside. Might be in the access area. Let's see if we can fly away before this guy attacks. Down below us. Yeah, that, that's yeah six. Yeah. He's in. He's in the thick of it down there. Okay. Yeah, this is just this is just full of these guys. There's all the ships and stuff over that way for all those dungeons. Deposit at my level. Up, here it is. Got some level 69 sludge sludging around. Don't think this is gonna be a fishing spot. Okay. Yeah, a bit, bit of a mess over here. Bit of a mess. There's that mine spot. Back down on avoid wind fly turn. Now we fight the sledge. Let's try to fight only one sledge, shall we? Immediately gets attacked by a second sledge. sludge things. Great. And the shadow of a guy walking way up, up, up at the top. Good enough. There's the bridge that brings you over from previous island. So we got something else on the edge here. Ethereals. And some crystals. Okay. It goes down quite a ways. But we can't exactly expect the land to not be a huge, gigantic mess out here in the outland. This is the Celestial Ridge. We got nether drakes. Any dragons flying around? Probably gonna be dragons flying around. Nether drakes. Another dragon. Another nether dragon. Looks like there is a way to walk around here. And a shrouded figure and a teleport pad. Cool, 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 cool. And a bit of a camp over here. With drab mace and Kiri. I've never seen anything like these nether dragons. They seem to have inherited their sire's temperament. They've become something entirely different. Is 
Just hanging out. Being dragons. Very cool. Alright. So that leads us on to the last large island over here. We got two smaller ones here. You can go down here, but there are dragons in the way. So, make of that what you will. Alright. Back to the Void Wind Plateau. We got Ethereals. It's interesting that we're... I don't know if there's multiple groups of Ethereals here. Because a lot of them are hostile, and other ones are giving us quests. I know there's at least two groups, based on information that I got back in Area 52. So. There's definitely stuff going on here. Oh boy, there sure is a lot of enemies kind of getting near this fell iron, aren't they? I do want it, though. So we'll fight this basilisk here. Let's see if we can get this ore. I still need all the ore that I can get. Take down the vessels. Get a delicious, delicious venom sack. And some bell iron. Everybody else seems to be leaving me alone. So I'll take it. Another, possibly two more biodomes over there. And a quest from this ethereal. Professor. Oh wow, there's a lot of guys here. Got a captain. Protectorate Nether Drake. Nether Drake looks upon you approvingly. Nice. Professor Debiri. Amira might be worried about what the. Ethereum are doing, but I'm squarely focused on the real danger here. Dementius. This guy has subservient flesh beasts. Flesh Angeler. Viridius. Among Ethereals, certain members deal specifically with flesh and beings of flesh. Those individuals are known as flesh handlers. Wild. Captain. Saeed over here. Fleshling! I am Captain Saeed of the Protectorate, and these soldiers that stand by me are my Avengers. We wait orders from the Fleshling who destroyed the Void Conduit. On that Fleshling's word, we will make our way up to Vincius' lair and wait for word to make a final strike. Too long it has been. The Void Lord will soon face our combined might. Alright. Sounds good. Commander Amir. What do you know about Ethereal's Fleshling? You undoubtedly view us all in the same light, oblivious to the conflicts and struggles between the differing factions. Perhaps it is time for an introduction. I am Commander Amir of the Protectorate, also your only hope of resolving the infestation of both Void Creature and Ethereum in this area. What are Ethereum? The Ethereum were the ruling class of Ethereal on my whole world of... Ka'arish. Tragically, we were forced to evacuate Ka'arish shortly before the Void Lord Dementius unleashed his Void armies upon the world and utterly decimated all that stood in his way. For this act, Ethereum vowed vengeance. They have been tracking Dementius ever since. The Protectorate, however, were not a reaction to Dementius. We were a reaction to Ethereum. And what do you mean by that? The Ethereum have grown dark twisted. Vengeance has become their only recourse, and any that would stand in their way or not join their cause are considered enemies. Many saw that the Ethereum were plummeting into madness and left. Several of the Nexus Princes of the Ethereum Council abandoned the Ethereum to form other groups and factions with different goals. 
The consortium are one such example of an offshoot group. The protectorate, another. So what do you do? We feel the Ethereum are as great a threat to our existence as Dementius. Both must be stopped. I think I understand now. Can I help with any of this? Ethereum and Void creatures are a threat to our survival as well. And that starts a quest with him. Very good. We have Researcher, Nabood. Greetings, Fleshly. I am Nabood, Chief Researcher here at the Protectorate, Director, Watchpost. Okay. We got another, basically a quest hub here. Very good. And down this way, we have a general provisioner. All things for sale, my friend. Large and small, whatever you need, a Zin will provide. If you value your life, do not approach Manaforge Ultras without a resupply. Zin is the last chance you have. What do you have to offer? The scroll strength three. Intellect. Major healing potion. Not even a super healing potion, eh? Yeah. Handing out level 45 potions. Out here in the final zone. Alright. And we got Wind Trader Marid. There are only three kinds of people in this world. Competitors, customers, and employees. Competitors are to be crushed ruthlessly. Customers indulged. And employees strictly supervised. Independent contractors are a myth. They want to be paid better than employees, but treated like customers. Never trust one who calls himself by that title. That's one way to look at things, I suppose. And over here we've got the Ethereum guys. Ethereum shock troopers. They got a whole crazy light show going on here. Magical. Yeah, this is... Looks like the Ethereum base is significantly larger than the Protectorate base. That's okay. Let's head on to the last island over here. Or the last large island. Oh, it's like... It's not two ecodomes. It's a large ecodome with a smaller one on the side. And possibly another one behind it. So, a megadome, one might say. I'll have to check that out. Across another bridge, and this is having the mana flowing through it. Okay. So we got another set of ruins over here. We had one ruin full of demons, one ruin full of ghosts, and yeah, it looks like this one's also going to be full of demons. Hounds and eyes. In the ruins of Farallon. This eye is just blasting out a laser in the ground there. You do you, I guess. Yeah, electricity happening. There is Colfass. Way up here at the top. And a Legion communicator. What a mess. What a mess. These eye guys are just having a great time. Just blasting a laser. Just going crazy. Alright. There is a parallel breaker. Giants down here, my goodness. And this is another stone. the name of the guy over here. There's Cragscar. A named elite giant. Lower level than the regular elite giants. Sure. Alright, this is another eco down. Okay. There's a lot of these. There's a lot of these. What do we got here? See if we can find a better place to fish. Or it's full of raptors. Eco day, eco dome, far field. 
is full of raptors. And fell iron. Swoop in and take this. Once we fight this raptor, of course. Because nothing can ever be this way. And now it's enraged. Okay, because I'm getting this. I don't think there's any fishing opportunities in this eco dump. Just raptors. Just raptors. It's not really shown on the map, named at least. You can hover over it to get its name, but. Oh, there's a big one in here. Tyranitus, level 71 beast. Well, ain't that something. Let's go to the top of the hill here. More raptors. Okay. Very cool. More demon presence over here. So they have some of their teleporters. Wrathbringers. Forge Lords. Forge base. Garan. An elite demon. Wrath Priestesses, Fell Cannons. Ores. Oh boy. Let me mount it. Get it and go. Gotta get this and get out of here. There's a Blood Garnet. Another fell iron. That's kind of near the fell cannon and the cyber rage forge lord and a wrath bringer. That's a lot. That's a lot for that. They're not getting further apart from each other either. I do want to know. So let's take out the Wrathbringer first, get a guns level. Very good. We got none of our buffs going for our weapon or well fed. Don't do a flame wave. I appreciate it. Alright. Let's take down the Fell Cannon. up. So if something else wanders by, we don't get instantly destroyed. Like that other Forge Lord. He's not a Cyber Rage Forge Lord, though. Just Iron Spine. Okay. Perfect. Now let's get out of there. Inactive Fell Reavers over in this part. And more demons. Of course there are. Go over this small island over here quickly. Since we're in the area.
More demons. More demons. And it doesn't look like there is a path to this island. This is... Sakrath... Sakrathar's seat. Hate crier. There's some guys. What are you guys doing over here? Dean the light warden. It's time to face Sarkathar, Eric Harrison. Are you ready? No. He's level 72 elite. You're level 71 elite. You you do it. You do it. I'm not messing with that. I feel like that's probably gonna be at the end of a quest chain or something. 72 elite. My goodness. Not right now. Not right now. Leave me alone. I am heading back over here. To the area where you don't need to have level 70 implied by the fact that you can fly over here. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Looks like there's like a triple dome in this biodome. Very large. I'm gonna go hang out with the inactive fell reavers. I'm sure that's a great plan. Maybe we can take control of them and destroy everything. Wouldn't be the first time. Forge base Oblivion. Forge Master Morag. Elite. It's helpful that all the elite demons are so large. It really makes them noticeable. In this biodome. Look at this whole building in here. What have we got here? Huh. The Storm Spire. We got a Furlong Lasher. Just a big plant guy. That's something. Just giant walking plants all over the place. Wild. Hello. Flora of the Ecodomes. Sure looks like it. Be careful. We got a lift here. Let's see what's up with the lift. Not gonna take the lift. I'm too cool for that. I can fly. All the way to the top of the Ecodome. Got some more Nexus guards. A consortium quartermaster. We don't have those. Let's see if there's any blacksmithing recipes in here. Tool crafting, tool crafting, tool crafting, tool crafting. Jewel, 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 jewel. Leather working. Spell. Penetration. For enchanting. A dagger. Sword. Engineering, a blaster, tailoring, some legs, and some equipment. Okay. More guys over here. Potent potables. We got major healing potions again. That, that, that's the level. Major shadow protection potions. Interesting. Ice caps, Dripping Glory, Fellwood, Mana Potions, Mana Thistles. I get an opportunity to buy a bunch of stuff and sell for profit. Assuming it sells. I'm not going to make that kind of assumption. That's okay. General Goods. Yep. Head of Engineering. Head of Ecodome engineering. Exotic creatures. Oh, he sells. Those pets, apparently. Parrot. A Siamese cat. A cockroach. A crimson snake. A brown rabbit. 
a red moth, a blue dragonhawk hatchling, and a mana wormling. Fancy. We, we already have a bunch of pets. I don't need more pets, but that's cool. I mean, we have a cat. That's under control. We have a squirrel. We have a bird. And we have a robotic chicken. Another powerful traveler. And be dangerous to want the most potent spells at your disposal. I can't use spells, but thanks for the offer. What do you got? You, you don't even sell spells. You just sell bits. But okay. Guard walking around. Trade goods. Yep. Enchanting supplies. Okay. Master enchanting trainer. Who also has the same enchanting supplies. Jewel crafting supplies. These are all the base level gems. You can do okay with the next level up gems on the auction house though, so. Those aren't too useful at this point. Jewel crafting trainer. Just has those bits. Storm shinner. What else we got? What else we got up here? Some quests from these guys. We got Zephyrion and Leather Stalker Nautis. Looking for someone to help me with the task that is long overdue. You look capable. Surveying the ruins. Legion everywhere. They must be dealt with. Fell Reavers and Kulifas. to his arcane goods. We have a mailbox up here. And an innkeeper. Well, look what the netherwinds swept in. Come in, sit down, and rest yourself a spell. The fee is modest. You can surely afford it. He sells diamond berries. Here's some in more interesting different kinds of things here. Liver bread. A fairly sparse inn, but got some bed like things, so that's fine. Zubin Eshamali. When you say his younger brother, he fails to mention that we're twins. He's really only older by a couple of minutes. Don't let that rising star of his fool you. Never be a traitor of the same magnitude that he is. This is Zubin Elgumbi. The younger brother here is quite the rising star in the consortium. Of course, he's too modest to acknowledge it. Exotic weapons. Ethereum Phase Spear. A Void Talon. Pulse Dagger. A Nexus Claw. Phase Blade. And a Baton. Fairly expensive. Interesting. Zverhi. That's Zverhi of the Consortium. My skills as a transmuter are known in a thousand worlds. Okay. Got some more quests up here, too. Head up to the top here. We got even more guys. And a flight path. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, what do you got? Spare parts. Engine frames, iron bolts, blasting powder. Okay. I'll do the needle. Action Jackson. And 
up here, we have an image of Nexus Prince Harmad. Welcome to the Stone Spire, warrior. Please not be put off by my being present to this imaging device. I have many enemies that would like to see me dead, so it's only a precaution. I assure you, you are perfectly safe here. Fair enough. And his advisor, for him. I'm here at the behest of Nexus Prince Haramad. Strange things are afoot at the Storm Spire. Interesting. This is a very large dome they got here. Let's look around the rest of it. All the way down here. We've got does and the sires, some tall bucks. Or the plant guys. We have this bridge that goes basically straight over to the other eco dome. Well, it's not actually domed in the middle here. If you pop through here, you're going to be in the crumbling waste for a little bit. I'm mostly safe between the two sides, though. Probably. These crazy plant guys. My goodness. Seems to be fairly peaceful. Oh, this is Eco Dome Sky Perch. Over on this side. There don't have to be much water here, though. So we will see. That looks like it might be water. This could be the ticket. Because I need water for fishing. All depends on if there's many enemies nearby. There's a tall buck. This is Ecodome Sutheron. There is a there's that. That that's definitely something. Maybe we could avoid him. Hmm. Or just over here in the less full of a hydra part. Right, this looks doable. Assuming it's deep enough. Out there, just a bad time. But in here, there aren't any fish here. Closer to the water, maybe? There aren't any fish here. Maybe the Hydra ate all the fish? Oh, that's unfortunate. How, how can you have an eco dome with no fish in it? There aren't any fish. Bummer. We eat all the fish. Is that that? He hasn't land in fishable water. There aren't any fish here. I'm right out of pets. Range. 
was an awkward fight, to be sure. Got a clam. Stop being poisoned. Can we fish now? Have we dealt with that? No fish. Well, that is a shame. That is a shame and a half. Let's not be nearly dead, shall we? trying. Anything else in here? More tall bucks. This is just the storm spire proper. Okay. Well, I guess, if I want to do some fishing, which I do, I can either leave Nether Storm entirely, or head back to Ecodome Mid-Realm, and deal with all the Crackalisks there. And I think I'll do that. First I want to pawn off some junk to somebody here. That's some clam meat. Okay. Maybe lots of vendors here. Should be able to get something. How about you? Iker, Sack, Talon, Raptor Ribs. You can do something with that. Yeah, this one here. Short ribs. Keep that. Keep the blood garnet. Sell these. Clam meat. Skull. Fragment. I guess we'll keep the spore fish. Theoretically sell that. Just want to sell that of that. Alright. So we just have the final island to explore. And then all of the things that I have planned. Next time. Goodbye.